Here we have x ORed with y ended with x or z. Let's simplify this. First we multiply it out. We get x times x becomes xx. x times z becomes xz. Then y. y times x becomes yx or xy. Then y times z becomes yz. Alright. X ended with itself will always be itself. So this becomes x. Bring this down. x ORed with xz. Well, we can factor out the x. We get x times what gives me x? 1. Bring down the OR. x times what gives me xz? z. z. <coughs> one word with a z will always give me, one word with anything will always give me a 1. x ended with a 1 always gives me x. And I now bring down the positive yx plus yx. And let's x is in both of these terms. Let's factor it out. x times what gives me x? 1. Bring down the or. x times what gives me yx? y. And again we have a repetition of the previous uh, in the previous example which was anything ordered with a 1 becomes a 1. Bring down the x. Anything ended with an x with a 1 becomes that anything, x, in this case. Let's bring down the plus yz, the or yz, and that is our answer. So, whenever we have x or y, times x or z. This will always give us x or y, z. This will always give us x or y, z. And that's our answer. Well, specifically, that's our answer. Thanks so much for listening. This is George Bolton.